This is the start of my new restoration project. This happens to be the receiver preamp for the uh, 1966 Magnavox Astrosonic 100 that you've seen in some of my videos. Uh, the set also has the 100 watt amplifier. Uh, what I'm going to be doing to these pieces are I am going to be replacing the electrolytic caps. By now most of them are um, pretty well leaky and uh, in pretty bad condition. Uh, it's amazing this set has been playing as long as I uh, have been using it. I'm going to turn the chassis over here and show you what I found when I removed it from the set. Uh, as you can see right here, this cap had exploded. I had found uh, plastic pieces in the bottom right here as this amplifier was mounted vertically. So uh, this cap, of course, is going to need to be replaced. And so is this cap here. And then all of the small caps on top of the chassis are also going to need to be replaced. And uh, these two here, um, I was going to show you in the box I have here. I have some parts. And uh, I can find them. I got these from Mouser. These two capacitors right here, small as they are, and I can put it here for size comparison, are replacing these two big ones here. And all of the other capacitors today are much smaller than uh, the existing ones. So all of these are, are due to be replaced. Uh, it doesn't show in the video, but I have some uh, resistors here that have bubbles on them. And uh, I suspect they have overheated at some point in time. So the resistors on this board, some of them, not all of them, uh, I'll be testing them to see if they're okay, uh, will also be replaced. And over here on the uh, radio chassis, the phono preamp is getting all new capacitors. So is the multiplex adapter. And there's been uh, various versions of the multiplex adapter for this model. Uh, the Sam's PhotoFact that I use as a guide, the original multiplex board took up all this space here. And under here is also, a, I don't think, let's see if I can get a good picture here. That's uh, not coming out too well. Um, there are also those miniature electrolytics here. The AM has quit working on this set. I suspect it's probably due to a uh, faulty capacitor. Um, when I get done, it should be working close to factory specs as possible. So uh, it's time for me to get to work, and um, I'll show you the recap job when I've finished. 